Hi, this video will walk you through how to install SoundThread on Windows, macOS, x86-64 Linux and ARM64 Linux. Each section will be timestamped down below. To install SoundThread on Windows, you first need to download SoundThread from GitHub and download the Composer's Desktop Project from the Composer's Desktop Project's website. You'll find links to those below. Once you have downloaded both of those, you will have two zip files and you will need to extract both of them. Once you've extracted both of those, we are going to install the Composer's Desktop Project. You will also find install instructions inside the SoundThread download that will walk you through everything we're going to do in this video. They can be helpful if you get stuck at any point. To install the Composer's Desktop Project, we're going to open the CDP8 folder that we downloaded and extracted, and we're just going to copy this CDPR8 folder and put it in a safe location. The recommended location is on your C drive but you can put this anywhere where it's going to be safe. But it's important that the path, that is all folders that contain the folder, do not have any special characters or spaces. Uh, I'm not gonna paste it here because I already have it installed. Once CDP is installed, we're going to quickly patch it to fix a known bug with the filters that has affected some users. In the SoundThread download, you will find a folder called Filter Patch. In this folder, there is a program called filter.exe, and we're just going to copy that. We're then going to go back to our CDPR8 folder, and we're going to replace the filter program in the CDPR8. We're going to open that folder, go to underscore CDP, go to underscore CD progs, and scroll down until we find the filter program. Once we found it, we're going to delete it and paste in the updated filter patch. That's CDP installed. Now we just need to set up SoundThread. Back in our download of SoundThread, we are going to run the soundthread.exe. When you do this, it may pop up with a warning that looks a bit like this. If it does, you can just go to more info and press run anyway. This will load up SoundThread. If this is your first time loading SoundThread, then it will ask you to locate to your CD Procs folder. To do that, just press this button and in the dialog that opens up, go to where you put the CDPR8 folder, open the CDPR8 folder, choose underscore CDP and underscore CD procs and select that folder. If you choose the wrong folder, you can change it in the settings later. To install CDP on Mac, you first need to go to GitHub to download the SoundThread version for Mac and go to the CDP website to download their release for Mac. Both of these are linked below. Once you've done that, you should have two zip files and you're going to extract both of them. Inside the SoundThread folder, you will find installation instructions. There is both a PDF format and a TXT format. They are exactly the same. They're just there for people who prefer to read in a different format. These will walk you through every single thing that we're going to cover in this video, and they can be helpful to have open for copying and pasting out of, even if you're going to install using this video. First, we're going to install CDP. To do that, we're going to go to the CDP folder that we unpacked, and we're going to open the CDP release DMG. Once this is opened, we're going to copy the CDPR8 folder that is inside this DMG, and we're going to paste it in a safe location. The recommended location is in your home folder. To get there, go to go and home, and you can paste this into here. Once this is done pasting, we're going to install a patch for a known bug with the filters in CDP. To do that, open the CDP folder that you just pasted, go to underscore CDP and underscore CD progs and scroll down until you find the filter program. Right click it and delete it. Next, go back to where you have your SoundThread download and inside the SoundThread folder, you will find a folder called filter patch. Inside this folder, you'll find an identical looking program 
we're going to copy this and go back to the CDP procs folder and paste it in place of the filter program that we deleted. Next, we need to approve CDP to run on Mac. To do this, we need to go to Utilities and open the terminal. In here, we are going to type in the command to approve all of the CDP programs to run. That command is exata-rc cdpr8. You can paste that into the terminal and hit enter. If you're on an M series Mac, CDP will require Rosetta to run. If you do not have Rosetta installed or you are unsure, you can install it by typing software update dash dash install dash Rosetta into the terminal and hitting enter to run. Next, we're going to set up SoundThread. To do that, go back to the SoundThread folder and unzip this zip file that is inside the folder. This will give you the SoundThread app. You can double click this to run, although when you do this, your Mac will probably stop you from opening it. This is because I haven't paid for an Apple developer license. You can just press OK. If it asks you if you want to delete it, do press no. To approve it to run, go to Applications and scroll down to System Preferences. Open System Preferences and inside System Preferences, go to Security and Privacy. In here, you can press Open Anyway, and this will pop up potentially again to ask you if you want to open it. Press Open and this will load up SoundThread. Once SoundThread has opened, it will ask you where you put your CDP programs. Click to locate, and you can then navigate to the CDPR8 folder that we copied to our home drive. Go to CDP, CDP Progs, and choose Open. And that's it. You should be ready to start patching. If you're installing CDP on x86-64 Linux, you have the easiest time of all. Download the sound thread for Linux x86-64 off of GitHub, unpack it, and open the folder, unpack the CD Prox Linux, inside this folder you'll find pre-compiled binaries for the CDP programs, and then run the SoundThread app. SoundThread on first launch will ask you to locate those programs, so click to locate and navigate your way to where you have put that CDP um, progs folder. Select it and you're good to go. To install SoundThread on ARM64 Linux, download the ARM64 version of SoundThread from GitHub which is linked below. Then open the folder and open the readme files. In here you'll find a link to pre-compiled binaries for CDP on ARM Linux. You can copy this link into your browser and download it from this website. Once these are downloaded, we need to extract the zip drive, I'm just going to extract it to my downloads folder, but you might want to extract it to somewhere where you're going to keep it safe. I would recommend a directory that doesn't have spaces or special characters. And then we need to make sure that we mark all of these programs as executable. To do this, we're going to open a new terminal window. We're going to navigate to wherever you decided to extract that zip file. 
Again, mine is just in my downloads. And then we're going to run chmod plus x and the name of the folder that you put it into. Make sure you have slash star to run chmod on everything inside that directory. Next, we're going to launch SoundThread. And when SoundThread launches for the first time, it will ask you where you put those CDP programs. Click to locate the CDP programs folder. And in the dialog, navigate to wherever it is that you extracted that zip file. Select the folder that contains the CDP programs and you're done.